what was the biggest shift to move you from having a gym to having a profitable gym? Was there, was it a lot of mini shifts or was there like, wow, this was the one like tweak that changed our trajectory? Um, well, there were a lot of mini, mini shifts. Um, it all kind of started happening after I had my kind of mid twenties crisis, you know, where you go from like, you know, kind of dumb early 20 year old to like, oh man, I'm like, I'm messing up <laughs> to, to like, I'm going to do the best that I can, you know, like that shift that I think a lot of people have in their kind of mid twenties. Um, it was after that, that I started really thinking of like, um, I've, the gym has been open for six years or whatever at that point, but honestly, like, it's not that we've gotten experience and better every year. It's more that we've just lived the same year over and over six or times or whatever it was. Um, and there's been no measurable progress. So, you know, I, I had recently kind of agreed with myself to start taking like radical responsibility for things. Um, and just looking at the gym and no real progress being made, you know, then you have to turn inward and say like, okay, what am I doing? Like, can I even define what a CEO even ought to be doing right now? Like, you know, what are the opportunities of growth that I'm providing my team members, which at that time was like virtually none, you know? So the big shift was learning that I needed to learn and my learning journey was not over, not just in business, but like personal development and, you know, all, all, all the things that you need to learn throughout your life. Um, I was aware of that, <laughs> you know? So, Finding a mentor for myself became pretty big. And at this point I've gone through six different mentors and have read like, you know, a number of scrolls of business books on, on my Audible. Um, and then with each one of those interactions with the mentors, you know, you take it slow. They give you little chunks to chip away at things to work on. Sometimes like big pivots you got to make. Um, like our, a big one was our, our price point at first. We just weren't charging enough. Um, and then committing to kids was a big one that we also had to do. Um, so those were kind of like the first big things that were getting out of the way. But then it was like, how am I training people underneath me to be leaders? Um, are we systematizing and documenting our systems, creating standard operating procedures for things? Like, do I have a playbook or like a, a you know, employee manual um, to hand to a new coach or to hand to a salesperson so that they can do those day-to-day -day roles and that I can step back and go into more of like a mentor for my team slash like CEO, like looking forward position. Um, and, and you could seriously just pick any one of those things I just said. And it's like an entire conversation because this has been like a multi-year journey, you know, getting us from where we were to, to here we are with, with those mentors, with reading all those books. Um, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts myself and have my own like business heroes that I constantly have in my ear um, and just sort of optimizing your outlook of like, what else do I have to learn? What's the big thing I should focus on that actually creates value and doesn't just waste my time right now. And how can I empower those underneath me to like find their biggest strength and to become entrepreneurs in their own right. Um, it, it, it's a whole basket of stuff that has to occur for you to go from just person to entrepreneur to like a creator of something that's working.